Cause I'm ordinary Cause I don't give a what So, what's up everyone? It's Julia Back on take three And this week is internet week So, for me, I'm doing internet fandoms And so, what I'm gonna do Is first I'm gonna describe Exactly what a fandom is For all you people over there Living under a rock. So, a fandom is when a group of people, the fans, revolve their lives around a group, a person, or other group of people. Now, that's the best definition that I could come up with. I'm not saying that's actually the definition, but that's what I interpret the word fandom. And a fandom is basically a family. It is a magical thing, to be honest, because a fandom works together, and they, I, like, they make friends through the fandom, and all through just fangirling over these people. It's actually pretty cool. It's not at all terrifying sometimes. So anyway, that's the best description of a fandom that I have. So, some fandoms that I'm in are the One Direction fandom and the O2L fandom. And somewhat the Five Sauce family. But I don't know about, like, I wouldn't necessarily call myself part of the fandom because I'm not that dedicated to them. I love them and I love their music, but I'm not too kept up on everything that goes on in the fandom. Which makes me not a complete part of their fandom, I guess. Because I guess I can call myself a fan, but not part of the fandom. And see, this is why sometimes fandoms are terrifying. Because you do one little thing wrong, and there are those people who will attack you. Via internet. And that is when fandoms get terrifying. Because you're just like, all of a sudden, everybody is like, all defensive. Being like, girl... Get out. You are not part of this fandom. You are not a real fan because you didn't know this. And, yeah, and that's when it can kind of get terrifying. So, if you're in a fandom, hold your own and stand up for what you believe in and don't let people push you around because you are awesome and you are supporting the group no matter what anyone says. So, don't even take that. Okay? Okay. So, anyway... I'd like to tell you a little story that has to do with internet fandoms. And I know this is not going to be via internet, but it's still relevant. So, on Tuesday the 10th, I went to go see O2L. And let me just say, it was pretty amazing in its own. I'll show you a clip. Please assume Dad's that opposition. In three, two, one. screaming in that video right that wasn't even the worst part of it like that wasn't even the worst part of the screaming but you can probably tell it was pretty bad most of the screaming was from me but anyway so this happened because they were able to do this because of a fandom like if you think about it it's true o was able to go on tour because of their fans and that's pretty awesome as a fandom to be able to like we may think we're just like invisible to them, but honestly, if it weren't for us, they wouldn't be able to do that, and that's pretty cool for them. Like, I'm proud of them. 
to be honest. They got a fandom going, and we are a family. Plus, while I was there, I made some two pretty awesome friends. And we hung out the rest of the night, and I'm pretty sure we got on close terms because we all shared one of their sprites after. So, I mean, what's friends without sharing each other's drinks? And don't worry, we, we knew them enough by then. We knew that they weren't going to, like, kill us. And, yeah, they were pretty nice people. Like, and I realized when I was there, I was like, all these people are supporting them. We're really, like, one big family, and it's pretty cool. But anyway... Off that topic, I'd like to talk about actual internet fandom blogs. Now, there's some good things and bad things about these. Uh, I will be the first to admit that I have one on Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram. Even though the Instagram one's crap because I don't like Instagram very much, to be honest. And that's why I hardly ever post on it if you follow me on Instagram. But anyway, so they are pretty cool and make my life difficult at the same time. I have become addicted to Twitter. It's actually kind of a problem. I go on my phone and the first thing I tap is the Twitter icon. And I'm not exactly sure if that's healthy, but I read something and it said if you wake up every morning and the first thing you tap on is Twitter, then you're addicted. And I may or may not do that, so I think I need some therapy. But anyway, besides me, regular, like, Twitter fandoms and all that, they, like, dedicate a lot of time into these blogs. Like, they are, just, they do the research, and then they always tweet about them, and then they, like, are tweeting all the time. Like, every five minutes, well, maybe not every five minutes but sometimes it's like five times per minute and then other times it's like not for a few hours but you need to be pretty active because set, like if you're not active for more than a day you start losing followers and it's hard it's stressful like on top of school and all that I have dedicated myself and gotten myself into a situation where I need to keep up my blog Plus, there's always, like, internet arguments, and then you have to watch what you say. Because if you say something, everybody gets very defensive over a lot of things. So, if you say one thing, it's just, like, everybody's like, ah, no. And I'm like, nah, it's stressful. And that is kind of the ugly side. But it's okay, because I've also made so many friends over the internet and through my blogs. Like, they, um... I was just like, this is awesome. I'm meeting all these nice people from possibly, like, Australia. And which I would have never met in real life because I don't live anywhere near Australia. <laughs> and, yeah. And for that reason, I love internet fandoms. So, that is a little sneak peek into the internet fandom life, if you were not already in it. And I bet a lot of you, since you are on YouTube... And watching YouTubers. Yeah, a lot of you probably already know this. And the other half might be a little scared. But, yeah. If you're not completely scared and have already left the video, you should give me a big thumbs up because that would be pretty awesome. And you should subscribe to Take 3 because that would also be pretty awesome. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Bye! Oh, shit. Uh, Ha <laughs> ha. Okay.